What's up everyone? Today we're making Kratos in Hero Forge to be in a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. <coughs> or, you know, it's just nice to have the to, to make the figure. Um, so I started off with obviously doing the skin colour for Kratos, which was kind of confusing. Because uh, there was no ash or anything close to ash, so I kind of did bone. Um, I got his height, I had to Google his height. I try to define his body as much as possible. Um, it did result in his calves getting absolutely massive though. But it's not too much of a pain later when putting on boots and stuff. Um, for the paint, for like the face paint or body paint, obviously there's not a lot of options, it's more of um, covers. Like I can't really put it on and then adjust its size or move it around. So I kind of used what I thought, uh, I kind of used stuff that fit best. Um, the body paint was kind of annoying because it was either too much, it was either too messy or too small. The one that's currently there is kind of too small, um, but it was the closest to it that I liked. Um, but don't worry, I did change it later. You will see that I actually kind of go back to it because I'm kind of, I was kind of fed up with it. I didn't really like it. This armor piece <sighs> wasn't too bad. Um, I didn't really like the looks of most of them, but it's fine. This one actually like works out pretty well. I was kind of upset that there was no chain wraps that you can put on the character, like on his arms, which I was so sure there was. The idea that there was chain wraps and then there's the there's swords that kind of look like the Blades of Chaos later. Those two things were like the, the biggest motivators for me to just go, you know what, I'm gonna make a Kratos D&D uh, figure. But it's fine, like, I kind of made it work. <laughs> I kind of just changed, uh, I took like leather wraps and I kind of just made them silver. Um, but once the Blades of Chaos are in, they kind of hide, so it's not too much of a problem. The, the boots. I spent a lot of time on looking for ones that look really good that fit with the theme. I finally found some good Kratos sandals. Yeah, I gave him some good anger face because I was, uh, you know, seeing a happy Kratos just felt weird. I had to change it. Um, then I gave the blades a chaos. I went through the colors a lot because I didn't really like how gold it looked, but it was the best gold that I could get there. Figuring out the pose, uh, I wanted to go for. <coughs> Uh, as you can see, I kind of went to the back because I wanted to, to pose. I think it's from Change of Olympus. I can't remember which cover it is, but the cover where you see his back um, and he's and the, the blades of chaos are on fire. So I was like, damn, you know, his back's kind of bare. So I went for a little um, changing up the the art style. There was a lot that I liked and a lot that I went through that kind of either like if I removed some piece that was too distracting or just didn't look good, it, it removed another piece. Uh, on it, like if I remove something on the arm, it removes something on the back, which is annoying. But this this one worked out really well. It looked really cool. I also added the flames, but there was no option to put the flames on the other side of the blades, which was quite annoying. So I removed them. I definitely would have loved to have them on, but it just didn't look good, um, especially because I couldn't I wouldn't be able to put it on the other side. So it would have looked weird if it was on the the blade side. Um, and I kind of just adjusted these his position. Also put him on some rubble because I wanted to see what that looked like. But I didn't really like it. I like the idea of <clears throat> Kratos being like this. I put on I put some bones there, put a Spartan helmet. I really I really like the, the Spartan helmet. It kind of was just like on a whim, like oh maybe it would look cool and it, it like it, it really suited. It looked it looked really sick. It fit well, especially because the colours were very similar to Kratos. The bones were cool. And yeah that's young Kratos. It's I don't know. I originally started with a much bigger picture, but I, I honestly think I, I pulled it off quite well. But, yeah, yeah. It, it turned out cool. I really did enjoy it. But then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with an older Kratos. The original idea was just to make a younger Kratos. But I decided, screw it. I'm gonna try to do a older Kratos. So, <laughs> I put all these stats up. Put all these muscle stats up. So that it uh, obviously fits him way better. He seems so much better when he's more swole for the bigger, the bigger Kratos. Put that, put that beard on. That beard looks 
so good. It looks amazing. Uh, try to put on a uh, like strap around him, around his chest. I couldn't really figure out one. I was so back and forth with the ideas of what to use because the the piece on his shoulder didn't really look too good. But then, luckily, the strap and this fur the fur one that I just put on there were two separate ones, so I could uh, I could overlap them, which looked really good. The gauntlets. Um, all the hand wraps, luckily I could choose two different ones. Because um, uh, obviously I kept it as close to the video game as possible. This one, uh, I think it's like the the, the Tundra uh, wraps or whatever. The tund uh, I can't remember what it, the Tundra skirt or whatever. Um, it looked good, it looked really good. I loved like mixing in a little bit of red there. Um, and then I tried to, I struggled finding boots. I mean, I eventually did find a good pair, but all the boots made his legs look really fat, <laughs> which was a, a problem. But I eventually found a good pair. The pants was like literally like so easy to do because the pants really didn't matter that much. Um, then I got the axe. The axe was an obvious choice of the few because this was the closest to that that Viking, uh, the Leviathan. Uh, remove the helmet because you know we're no longer in Sparta. So I put down this sand dunes and I kind of wanted to paint it white to make it look more like snow. Uh, I will not lie, I spent a lot of time <laughs> looking for a good color that fits, and then in doing so, um, yeah, I see, I found it. Try to put a blood stain on the snow, it didn't really work out. I looked for more things that fit like a Nordic theme. I eventually just put arrows because there was no not much like Nordic stuff. I changed the the bones and stuff to a dark, like to a, like a green, like a rotten color, because they kind of blended in a little too much with the snow. I think it looks way better. Um, I went for a a pose. Eventually made me <clears throat> led me to think maybe I could add a a shield. You know, it's kind of in a defensive stance, about to hit some hit a creature or something. And I was like, no, it's kind of lame. Kratos is, you know, he's a he's a harsh motherfucker. He will fight you straight up. So I put on this really cool ice effect to make his axe look like it's swinging in motion. And also, it's you know, it's within theme. Kind of adjusted him to put there, put his head a little bit forwards. I even adjusted the eyes to look a little bit up. You'll see now <laughs> when I go in, I made him stare right into your soul with his eyes there. Kind of adjusted the scar a little bit because it's a little less seen on the current Kratos. Also made his bones. I changed the the, the white bones into a to a bloody bones, um, and also opened his mouth there in like a scream. And there we go. I re I'm so proud of this one. The first Kratos was alright, but this one is so amazing. He looks so great. I honestly I, I love it so much. This was great.